Hi, I'm Pat Zietla Miller, and today we're going to talk about why picture book biographies are so very cool. Picture book biographies usually focus on one aspect of the subject matter's life. And if you think about it, that makes sense, because if you're cool enough to have a picture book biography written about you, chances are you've done so many amazing things that they wouldn't easily fit into one 32 or 40 page picture book. And if the author tried to cram it all in, it would end up reading more like a school report than an engaging story. So what authors tend to do is pick one aspect of the subject's life that they think is particularly interesting or engaging and focus on that. That means that the same famous person could have multiple picture book biographies written about them by different authors, all looking at a different part of their life. A good example of that is civil rights leader and US Congressman John Lewis. Multiple picture books have been written about him, and we're gonna look at a few of them right now. So the first is Preaching to the Chickens by Jabari Asim and E.B. Lewis. This looks at John's childhood. He grew up on a farm in rural Alabama, and his job as a small child was looking after the chickens. And since John thought, even as a kid, that he might want to grow up to be a preacher, he would preach to the chickens while he fed them and took care of them. But he didn't just make them listen to his sermons. He also named them and got to know them and looked out for them and helped them if he thought they were maybe going a little bit off track. This book focuses on that and shows how his childhood experiences made him a better leader and someone who grew up to care about everyone he encountered. The second book is Fighting with Love by Lisa Klein Ransom and James E. Ransom. This looks at John's civil rights work as an adult. John worked throughout his entire life to make sure that African Americans in the United States could eat at any restaurant they wanted, could see any movie they wanted, could sit anywhere they wanted on a bus and vote. His work led to many of the civil rights laws that we have today. And it's an incredibly important story because John was often met with resistance and violence from people who didn't agree with what he did. And this book shows how he persisted and made a difference in the United States. Then there's Because of You, John Lewis by Andrea Davis Pickney and Keith Henry Brown. This looks at a period later in John's life where he made friends with 10-year-old Tybury Faw, who admired John from afar. Tybree's grandmothers took him to Selma, Alabama when John was going to speak, and Tybree met John, walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge with him, and stayed in contact with him afterward. Tybree's friendship with John helped him to become a civil rights advocate and social justice worker in his own right. And then Jerry Jordan and I have a picture book about John Lewis coming out in January of 2025 called Unstoppable John, how John Lewis got his library card and helped change history. This book looks at the role that libraries and books played in John's life. John did not grow up with access to books and he wasn't able to get a library card at his local public library because it was for whites only. So John's first act of civil protest was to go to the library when he was 16 and ask for a library card even though he knew that he'd be told no. His civil rights work helped make sure that everyone could have access to libraries and books played a huge role throughout John's life. The other cool thing about picture book biographies is that they're for everyone. Granted, they're written for and marketed to children, but I can guarantee adults watching that if you read these picture books, you'll learn things about John Lewis you didn't know before. Picture book biographies start conversations and help us all become smarter than we were before we read them.